Hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian here, doing another video for you guys, and this time I'm doing another chill commentary. This time for Transformers Prime Season 2, Episode 17, OUT OF THE PAST! And it seems like RC's been captured. Oh no, when did this happen? Are we having another situation like Bulkhead entering the Ark? But I caught Bart Simpson on a skateboard. You are nothing compared to him. But wait, isn't Starscream uh, not a Decepticon anymore? What the fuck is going on here? I don't like it. Uh... <laughs> You're funny. Uh oh. Clef Jumper. I could have sworn he was dead as a popsicle stick. Oh, that theme song is so good, it makes me rub my tummy. Mmm. It's a good theme song. It reminds me of what it means to be a Transformer. Also, I'm trying to do something quickly as this is happening. Come on. Okay, there we go. I had to export a file at the same time. And Super Punch that makes the logo. Whoosh, whoosh. Uh oh, it seems like we're in a predicament here with the dead cliff jumper who's alive. Oh, that's mean. Ah! We're gonna run into that planet! Is right. Oh, well, you look at that. Bulkhead's functioning and doing stuff. And he's talking and everything. Yeah, this, uh, this kind of pissed me off. I mean, I like the overall episode. I heard from a lot of people that they hated this episode. I think. I can't remember exactly where that came from. Might have come from this. But, um... Yeah, they built up this whole thing about Bulkhead almost dying and how he's not going to be the same. And then he's... He's up and doing stuff. Granted, he's not exactly 100%. But you'd think they probably, you know leave him in bed for a while or something. Better, stronger, faster makes us better. I don't know that song. I don't even know what that means. Is he going too far? She's just pissy because she doesn't know what the word means. She just kicks him and he falls over. That bitch! She stole my hairnet. I don't even have hair. Stop crying for ten seconds. She was going to jump, because she's so confused by Ratchet's words. So write in a diary, you dumb bitch. Also go somewhere that she can't, like a populated city. Oh, you want to be alone. 
go to Cybertron. Dead Planet, Dead Partners, lots of dead Autobots, I would say, yeah. I'm just going to stab you. You'll meet him. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. No, Tailgate! How was he like? Didn't they make a prequel comic with uh, Cliff Jumper and RC? Oh shit. Rescuers? Rescuers? See, I rescued you. I banged on the store. My job is done. Why is Cliff Jumper the only one that remotely has a nose? That is not Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> I've tried my breathing techniques, but nothing is working. Because everyone wants to see him. Man, someone should fix up Detroit. Yeah, it's very gray and broken. It's beautiful. Oh, whose laboratory is this, I wonder? Oh no, they're going to dissect frogs! Here's my cousin, Stephanie. Oh boy, a single eye. Who could that be? He's purple, too. Could it be? Shockwave! Ah! If you guys don't know me, you wouldn't know that I'm a huge fan of Shockwave. I love him. He's pretty much the only character that I could actually do the voice for. Not necessarily this version of Shockwave. And, you know, they don't really give him a voice right away, so when I saw this episode, I thought, oh, they're going to do the same thing with, like, Soundwave? Also, when I first heard his voice, I thought, really, they're going with that voice, not G1 voice? Then I got into it. Are you going to shut up anytime soon? Should I just do the Shockwave voice I normally do? My god, this is data! This is science! That's not a G1 voice! Although I think the original voice actor retired from doing Shockwave voice, so... I mean, there's that. Can't remember who the original voice actor is. I think it was Corey Burton? Be careful, he's got a cheese grater at you. I got 
twitch in my eye right now. That's your name, right? This is Optimus Prime. I figured out how to make the perfect salad. It turns out there's this thing called ranch dressing, and Earth has m more of it than you could imagine. So come here and try my sweet salad, bro. Hello. Is that gonna work? <laughs> you know what this is reminding me of? Kind of miss the origin stories of Transformers anime, because they would have origin stories for every single Autobot. There was one for Bulkhead and Bumblebee, there was one for Prowl, uh, there was one for Optimus Prime. I believe there was one for Optimus Prime. And then this is one for RC and Clipjumper, so you can get a better understanding of the characters. And also get a first-hand look at Shockwave. She did it! A woman can do something! They are strong and independent. I've learned something today. Well, I mean, he's just going to do it later. Why don't you just kill him right there? How do you think you can make the perfect salad? Yeah, I don't think she'd be joking around. She's a little bit of a bitch. Not a donut! I need those! For sports! You dumb bitch! Are you telling me Shockwave is smart? Yeah, you sure about that? You're a lovable, cuddly character. Exactly. Also, their very Cybertronian style looks like they could transform into cars. Don't worry, the bridge is made out of popsicle sticks. I'm pretty sure it will be very easy to tear down. You are my partner. My spider died. There it is. Again, why is it always the damn many bots who die? Cliff Jumper lives, and he's right behind you. What do you think happens? They go their separate ways, I guess? Just like a farce. Yeah, see, I made a fart joke. I'm pretty funny, aren't I? 
fucking hilarious. Uh oh. See, the interesting thing about bringing in Shockwave is you wouldn't know if he died or not. I'll insert fake news into it. You idiot. This is the Decepticon base. We will shoot you for that. Steve? Yes, yeah, Steve? I can smell this guy's bullshit, Steve. Well, then maybe you should switch over to Decepticon symbols to, uh, now. They just start tattooing him. No, I'm in front of you. It's not supposed to make that noise. That's mine! I built it myself! You can't touch it! No girls allowed. Clever girl. Then a raptor just eats him. Wow, Cliff Jumper can take on a couple of Viacons. If only he could have done that much later. You asshole! Hey, stop up! I'm not gonna do his voice throughout the whole thing. Just shoot! Idiot. RC, they were going to help him. They were going to shoot guns underneath him so that the, the sh shockwave of it would lift him up and this joke is bad. What the fuck? Not this time there isn't one way to do it. More than one way. Oh. <laughs> oh gee, I wonder what's going to happen. Exactly. They ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Why, are there any other Autobots on Cybertron that you guys need to watch out for? You just gonna leave? Maybe RC has some plants back at home that are now gonna die out. Uh-oh! This doesn't seem safe. I don't know how this is possible. Aren't they just pieces at this point? Once again, RC uses her slow motion powers to do that.
And that's how they got to Earth. The end. You're not going to get it, though. Spoiler alert. So it was that point when they became partners? I don't know when Arachnid knew that Cliff Jumper was her partner, but whatever, I guess. Is that a full Cybertron reference right there? You snaky bastard. And then he died of a heart attack. He won't shut the fuck up. Oh. <laughs> now kiss. And that was the episode. I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe with all those fun dudes. And I'll see you guys next time.